Hello everybody, this is uh, Mars Marshall, again the producer for Eve of October. Uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, questions about how I get lighting effects, the, uh, the glowing effects that I have in a lot of the scenes that I have. Uh, this latest scene that you see right up here on the screen. Uh, this was the last one that I did and uh, basically I use Photoshop, use all kinds of layers uh, and I start out with doing the lights, basically basic shapes and that sort of thing and then I use filters in Photoshop. The primary filter I use off the effects tab at the very top of, in Photoshop and it's Gaussian Blur. That's the one that I use mostly. So let's get started. Uh, let me pull this up real quick. And excuse me, I'm going to have to fumble around a little bit. Basically, if you look on the screen, you have some runes. Uh, and how I do runes is real simple. I type up uh, whatever words, cut it, flip it around, do horizontal stuff, shift it around. And there you go. You got instant runes and I use this quite often. I got tired of hand drawing runes and that sort of thing, trying to come up with something spiffy, and I knew that most of the time people don't know what they mean anyhow, so I just kind of create them. Uh, basically what we have here is a solid red text, and I reproduce that. I use Gaussian Blur. You can see I got a blurring effect going on there. I'll reproduce that layer a few different times to get the desired effect. Let's get a little bit closer so you can see what we're doing here. Regular lettering, Gaussian Blur. So you can see how that kind of works. That's the very basics. Next I'll, I'll show you how I kind of compile more complicated images like the one again that you see up on the screen. We got it all cleared up here. And uh, so I'm going to show you step by step how I get this image to look like it does with the glowing lights and everything. This is a little bit more complicated than the last thing. So here we go. Okay, so here's what the door looks like without any of the lighting effects. Of course, we have the runes on the side. Those are already finished with what I kind of illustrated in the first part. Uh, this is what I call the dark layer. Basically, I come up with a finished scene with no lights. And then I create one layer and I draw it down into the dark. Uh, to sell lighting, to make it more impressive, it's always good to have a good dark background. Of course, uh, drawing something down into the dark, you use the adjust a uh, tool at the top drop bar in Photoshop and basically you just adjust your brightness and your contrast. Those are the two things that you're adjusting to get this effect. You'll see that the room uh, inside is is a little bit brighter. That's another layer and I'll kind of explain that as we go further in. Okay next is what I call the bright layer and basically what you do again off the top drop there'll be where it says image you click on that you go down to adjust and what we're going to be adjusting now is is hue and saturation and when you adjust the hue you want to make sure that you have it check marked so that you change the all the colors and not just the general hue and usually I crank up the saturation and make it as bright as I can and that, that's how we come up with this image here so basically right now you have two layers. You have your dark layer and you have your bright layer. Dark layer and bright layer. The dark layer is over the top of the bright layer and so I click onto my erase tool and start erasing the dark layer and you see the bright layer underneath coming through and it kind of gives you a nice bright thing. I'm kind of messing around here to kind of demonstrate. 
but of course you want to be a little bit more careful more detailed of how you want to do it I'll kind of demonstrate that here in a sec that's what the ending image looks like basically the next move I would take uh, let's click back here to the dark layer my lasso tool indicate where the light is moving all right let's pull up the original image again okay and of course I did a lot more uh, in the finished image you see the lights going around the inside of the door always use white uh, when you're trying to do things that are really bright and impressive and you know go ahead and erase around the edge of the door like I did here on your dark layer to kind of brighten it up I also added another layer for the uh, force field there and I'll kind of show that layer here in a bit but yeah so that's basically what you do you use Gaussian blur and of course you want to draw your lights out whatever shape they are like the shape of a light bulb or a rectangular like I have here going around the door nice solid white shape you want to keep that on a layer by itself not even touch not even uh, any gauze and blur on, on it and then you want to copy the light again except on the next layers you're going to use gauze and blur and usually I just duplicate the layers to get the desired effect you could actually mess around with gauze and blur and adjust the slide bar till it looks about right but I found that usually copying a couple layers give, uh, makes it a little bit easier to kind of look at it and gauge it just a personal preference the next few things that I'll be showing you here is just to kind of give you an idea how I've broken down this this general scene okay the first image I'm going to show you is the inside of the cell nothing too fancy put a little bench in there a couple little shapes on the walls it doesn't have to be anything too fancy since you know it's kind of in the background and this I kind of drew out after the fact and then I moved it into the back layer and then I cut a hole through the door so that you could see this next I'll show you the field layer force field layer okay here's your force field layer I drew a grid uh, pattern basically adjusted the opa opacity to make it transparent so that you could see through it and put a little bit of perspective on it to to fit the next layer and that layer again is the dark layer but you can see now with the force field in the background it's all starting to kind of come together and lights on there you have it that is the finished product I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the scene so you can see how it works uh, in the film and basically with the bright layer and everything you can turn it on and off in Anna and I'm studio using the switch layers and it gives you the uh, the illusion that the lights are flickering and that sort of thing let me put that scene up so you can see what it looks like here we'll run this uh, through a few times basically you see the uh, force field it's fluttering the lights are fluttering basically using the switch layer on the bright layer which is over the dark layer you'll see the force fields moving around kind of animating that back and forth on the back layer and you see how it kind of fades in there to a brightness that's basically taking the bright layer and fading it in on about five frames from zero to a hundred percent just uh, something to indicate that the power that it's just finally turning on even though the force field's gone and pretty much there you have it that's pretty much how this scene was put together I hope that you find this uh, useful in your next project and stay tuned uh, Please subscribe to my channel. Watch uh, Eve of October, second film coming out. 
first film is available on Amazon. And uh, anyhow, looking forward to uh, seeing what everybody thinks about this tutorial. So have a good one. Take care.